year is filmed before a live studio audience. Is that my route? Somebody give me a box of chocolates. You, uh, you want one? Yeah. Assortment, huh? You know, I like buttercreams, but uh, I can never tell which one's which. Nope. <laughs> That's either, man. Hey, Fresh. What's the latest with Madame Overy? No, oh, she's fine. Don't sound too happy about it. Well, frankly, Sam, I'm not. I feel like hell for what I said to her the other day. I took the most beautiful experience of her life and turned it into something as pedestrian as flossing one's teeth. I wish I could take back every hateful word I said. Phrase. Ver no, nougat. <laughs> Vera and I have this little technique that we use that uh, whenever we say something that we regret to each other, we agree never to talk about it again, and it works like a charm. Well, Norm, I don't agree. It's, once you start to bury your feelings, you stop talking. Finally, don't spend any time together at all. Right. Works like a charm. <laughs> We're so civilized, we've cut ourselves off from our true animal nature. Accordingly, we've decided to forsake the city and go live in the wilderness. Yes. Won't well, you leave behind the 20th century, and I will build a cabin. My own two hands and the sweat of my brow. Uh, do you guys want these pretzels? Uh, no, no, thank you. From now on, I only eat what I kill. Well, then I suggest you kill about a half dozen beers and lighten up. <laughs> well, okay, I, I want that woman. Sam, she's carrying Dr. Crane's bathe. <laughs> no, no, it's not that woman. The woman over by the phone. Who doesn't? How about, how about? Sam, yeah. Mr. Cool, I hate to burst your bubble again, but didn't she just shoot you down? Uh, hey, maybe you should just stay away from brunettes. Except me, of course. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't you see here? The good doctor and I are sparring. It's sexy, it's fun. Just like one of those old Spencer Tracy Audrey Hepburn movies. <laughs> Sammy, you step in my office, please, a word in your ear. You know, if I were you, I'd... Uh... Approach good Dr. Legs there on a professional level. Yeah, I would make an appointment with her and pretend there was something wrong with me. Clippy, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, who gave it to you? <laughs> that's mine. It uh, came right from this brain. Hey, everybody, Clavin got a new brain. <laughs> so, what do you think? Uh, what kind of problems should I make up? Well, um, how about this? I once took one of my kids to the school psychiatrist and he said the kid had kleptomania. Anything come of it? Got a couple of pens and a leather appointment book. <laughs> yeah, or you could uh, try using my problem. I've always had this terrible fear of being a failure. You are a failure. Well, then I've licked it. <laughs> come on, why would anyone has a super job, makes a great living, shop in any PX in the world want to steal your earrings. You saw them. They were gorgeous. All right. That's it. Rebecca Howe, I would like your social security number. Oh, Cliff, shut up. All right, wait, wait, wait. Maybe he did take them. Oh, great. Sedition is everywhere. No, no, maybe the guy had a, an anniversary coming up and he didn't have time to shop because he's too damn busy running the military. No, no, that doesn't wash, Norm. His anniversary was February 14th. <laughs> All right, Cliff, all right, maybe this, okay? Maybe he wears them himself. Yeah, right. He wears earrings and I wear women's lingerie. Carla, you were right. <laughs> Probably want to go home, get some rest, so you can be back for your 9 a.m. shift. <laughs> well, it's one of those days I hate to see you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hey, here, I got some new videos. You guys want to come over to my place? New videos? Great. Yeah, yeah, my head, our whole movie's converted to tape. Here's a great one of... Uh, me all dressed up as Peter Pan, Mars, Captain Hook. She's tying me up. <laughs> it's great. For Halloween, huh? Uh, no, no, it's a little game we used to play to help me sleep. You know, crazy teenagers there. Eh? <laughs> I'm gonna say it, and I don't care who knows it. Ever since Reagan left the White House, this country's gone a heck of a hand cut. <laughs> Here we go. Heads. <laughs> all right, Cliff. Seeing as how I'm your best friend, I guess you better tell me what the problem is. Yeah, you're only asking me because you lost the toss. No, he's only your best friend because he lost the toss. 
Yeah, fine. Yeah, go ahead and laugh. Yeah, go ahead and laugh. We'll see how funny you think this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, as you may have guessed, this is a hybrid cross between a rutabaga and a beet. What are we calling it? Beet a bigger. <laughs> Could be, uh, I don't want to poke holes in this thing or even touch it, actually. <laughs> Really, I mean, how, how useful do you think this is going to be? <laughs> Could not. This is a perfect vegetable for kids who hate rutabagas but love beets. Oh. And there must be, what, dozens of those, right? <laughs> exactly. Fills a long felt need, now. That's why those faceless bureaucrats in Washington are trying to steal it away from me. Oh, uh, which reminds me, uh, I got an affidavit here. I'd like you ought to sign saying that uh, Clifford Clavin is the inventor of the beetabaga. <laughs> Clippy, you got a pen? Clip. Yeah. Remember when uh, you asked me to tell you if you were going off the deep end? Yeah. Well, don't come up too fast, buddy. You'll get the bends. Um, <laughs> uh, um, you know, I usually go along with you, but uh... I am really on to something. Clippy, does this sound familiar? Me, 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 me. Woody, I think you ought to lay off. How, m how many have you had? Eleven. <laughs> Eleven beers? Eleven sips. <laughs> well, that, that's plenty, Woody. You know, booze is no way to handle any problems. I just can't get over the way Kelly made a fool out of me in front of all those people. So you just left them? What else could I do? I told him my present was out front and ran off. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Wood. It happens to all of us. Really? Well, did Mrs. Peterson ever make a fool out of you in front of other people? Yeah, there was a time she pulled the old I do gag. 